And southernmost county was not spared from this heavy mm -hmm. wet snow either. Yeah, thousands of people are feeling literally powerless in this storm, including in your county. CBS 13's Brad Rogers joining us live in the town of Dayton there. And Brad, the outage is really widespread there. Yeah, they sure are. You know, people here in York County say the lights started going out at 3 o'clock in the morning and they kept going out for many homes throughout the day. In about half the communities in York County, everyone lost power. That includes Buxton and Hollis, Limington and Limerick, and Waterboro and Shapley, towns where multiple trees fell onto power lines and roads. Tow truck driver Wayne Strout Jr. says it took him three hours to reach a driver who went into a ditch and hit a tree. Roads are horrible. Um, the side roads, they got trees down everywhere, so if you don't have to go anywhere, stay home. Here in Buxton, we saw at least three utility poles that came crashing down, two of them right here in West Buxton. That's where line crews right now are installing two new utility poles. One of the poles that came down crashed right on to a plow truck. We don't know if someone was in the plow truck at the time or if anyone was hurt. In nearby Hollis, firefighters have gone out on dozens of calls today. Trees and power lines down and cars sliding off the road. The fire station's generator kicked on at 3 this morning. It can always get worse if the wind really starts to pick up. We haven't, we haven't seen the big wind gusts that they were talking about. Um, so if the wind gusts really pick up, I see it getting much worse. Several homeowners now find themselves stranded with trees blocking their driveway. And not everyone has a generator. Don't have a working generator at the moment, but we have enough of other means of keeping the house warm. We have a wood stove. A number of businesses along Route 202 are closed, but it means more customers for the convenience stores with generators that can open. Oh, it's, it's been really, really busy. Hi there. Eight on pump three. Eight on number three, you got it. They stayed busy even when the credit card systems went down. Generator kicked on about three o'clock this morning. Uh, we opened up around nine. It's been backed up. We've been backed up all day. Well, right now, 90,000 of CMP's 129,000 uh, customers in your county are without power. A CMP spokesman says it may be five days before they can get power fully restored. Uh, four warming centers are now open up in York County. We have the full list of warming centers you can find on our website, WGME.com. We're live in Dayton. Brad Rogers, CBS 13 News. Back to you. All right, Brad, thanks for the update.